Hello guys, this is Joshua LaForge here at Channel Islands High School in Oxnard, California. Um, and I'm going to teach you a little bit of just the basics of torque and how to solve a torque problem, particularly as it relates to the AP Physics C Mechanics test. Um, first of all, what is torque? Well, a torque is a special kind of force. Um, and it's any kind of force that applies rotation. So We've learned all about linear mechanics before, things moving in a straight line or in two dimensions. And now we're learning about things that are rotating. And when we talk about rotation, um, our analogy to force is torque. So if something has a torque on it, we know that it's going to experience a rotational acceleration or an angular acceleration. If it's not moving, it's going to start spinning. And if it's already spinning, it will either spin faster or slower because of the torque that's being applied. You can think of brakes on a car. When you apply the brakes, the brakes apply a torque to the wheel that slows the wheel down. And that's an acceleration. Or you can think of the engine in a car, which applies a torque to the wheels that speeds the wheel up. So if you think about this meter stick, which is sort of the simple example that we use a lot in my class at least, um, we have, right now the meter stick is balanced. It's not spinning, it's, it's not even really moving. So we say that this meter stick is in equilibrium. Equilibrium in this case, rotational, equilibrium means that it's not accelerating in a circle. Now that's easy to see because it's not spinning at all but remember that if the object were spinning it's possible for there to be no net torque on it as long as it's not either speeding up or slowing down. Keep that in mind. Now, if we want to think about the torque on this meter stick, well, right now, there's no torque. That's because I'm holding it right there in the middle. And so, overall, there's no torque. But if I were to use my finger to apply a force to it, that force might also create a torque. Now, if I put my finger right in the middle, there's no torque from that. You can see that it's still in equilibrium. There's no torque from this because I'm applying the force right at the center of rotation. And anytime a force goes straight through the center of rotation, there's gonna be no torque from that force. Similarly, if I hold my meter stick like this and I put a force on it like that, well now the center of rotation is the other end of the meter stick, the bottom. And this doesn't apply, this force doesn't apply a torque because this force is acting right through the center of rotation. On the other hand, if I hold my meter stick in the middle and I apply a force off to the side, over here, this force is going to create a torque. And you'll notice that it makes the meter stick spin. This force applies a torque because it's acting somewhere other than the center of rotation. And that's the key when we're talking about torque. So let's start doing some problems. And, and the first kind of typical problem that we want to do is related to equilibrium. So let's imagine we've got a meter stick and that meter stick is balanced, just like the one I just showed you. Now we know that because this meter stick is balanced, like I said, it's in rotational equilibrium. Rotational equilibrium means that the overall torque, the net torque, is going to equal zero. So because the net torque equals zero, 
we know that this object, since it's right now not spinning, is going to stay not spinning. But what if we make this a little bit more complicated? What if we add a weight to this meter shift? Well, if I hang a weight to the side of the meter stick at 200 grams, we'll say, and we'll put it at a distance from, remember this is my center of rotation here. I put it at a distance from the center of rotation of two, sorry, 20 centimeters or 0.2 meters. Now, I can solve for the torque from that mass using an equation for torque. And the equation that we use for the torque on an object is that the torque, that little script T represents torque, the torque equals the force that's being applied. In this case, the force is the force of weight from that mass times r. r is the distance between the mass and the center of rotation. And so in this case, I can take the force of weight. Well, this is 200 grams. And so the force from that 200 grams is actually 2 newtons. Okay, And I multiply that times R, which is the distance between the center of rotation and where the force from the weight is applied, which is 0.2 meters. And that will allow me to solve for the torque. So I find that the torque here is 0 0.4. And notice that my unit is newtons times meters. So my unit for torque is the newton meter. So torque is 0.4 newton meters. And that's how you solve for torque. Remember, torque is just a force that makes something rotate. Not all forces do that. And also remember that if an object like this one is not spinning, we know it's in rotational equilibrium. And that means that the net torque is zero. I'll have some more information for you guys about torque and finding torque specifically related to rotational equilibrium in my next video. So see you then.